It's a little corner of America on Cuban land. Hi, this is OC, and you guys are listening to the Radio Gitmo Morning Show. Again, happy Friday. The radio station broadcasts to a military population brought to this base to bolster American power in the region. It's a leftover from the Spanish-American War, based on a treaty that effectively gives America a veto on closing it. Guantanamo Bay is an anomaly in every way, an American world enclosed on itself. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking that we're in a kind of a normal American town. You have the Subway sandwich people, you've got the McDonald's hamburger people, and over there, huge supermarket. But of course, there are very different things going on here in Guantanamo. The detention center is what this place is most famous for, even if it occupies only a small sliver of land here. For these army medics, it's just another stop on the international circuit of US bases around the world. Even though most of their time these days is spent enterally or force-feeding detainees, they see it as just part of the job. It is what it is. Um, the work is here, it needs to be done, and it will be done. But it was a little easier before the hunger strike, of course. But we adapt and we overcome. At one moment you could be having a, a simple, pleasant conversation with them um, and then hours later they just hate you because they didn't get what they wanted for whatever reason, you know, and, and it, it might have not been your fault at all. If that's what they're thinking is that they're going to be here forever, then I, I can see how eventually, you know, their, their, uh, their hope may just diminish entirely and, and then they're, they're just on their last resorts. It clearly annoys and disappoints people here to compare Guantanamo with Abu Ghraib in Iraq, where soldiers in charge of a prison ran amok. The view here is that Abu Ghraib is ancient history. Guantanamo is a model prison, they say, run to the highest international standards. The people of the United States and the people of the world can uh, believe and understand that we are detaining people safely. We're doing it right. We're doing it in conditions that are humane, that the people here have access to legal counsel, access to their attorneys, access to the courts, um, and that we're doing it in a way that I think represents America the best. But the American military view of this place is not widely shared abroad. Most human rights organizations want Guantanamo closed. 166 detainees remain, and while there has been some movement of late and talk of releases, the poisonous political atmosphere in Washington is still the biggest obstacle to consigning Guantanamo to history. Richard Downs, RTE News, Guantanamo Bay.